Good day, good day! <laughs> How the hook are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O, the channel that's anything and everything about uh, Land Rovers. Today I got a package. I'm not really sure what's in it. It's big, it's fluffy, it's light. Let's see what's going on here. It is from eBay uh, and uh, Burlington, NC. Yes, North Carolina. Let's see what North Carolina has sent me today. We have got some really cool stuff going on around here. So let's see what we got. Oh, that is stuck. That is stuck, but we got her out. That's all that's in there. All right, we'll throw that to the side. And what do we got? Ba bam Oh my goodness gracious, yes. This is it, I've been waiting for one of these. I went to eBay and I paid money for this. Big money for this. Wowzer, did I ever. No, it was uh, eight, nine bucks. Eight bucks. Yes. So what we've got here is the Target exclusive, uh, what do they call it? Target exclusive. This is a Target exclusive. Uh, retro. I don't even know if they, they, it doesn't seem like there's a, um, name to this, but it's a throwback to old time, um, matchbox. There is going to be 12 apparently. Here is the first two, four, six. And, uh, they did the Land Rover 90. That's the only one that I'm really, really interested in. Uh, I haven't, I don't have a target really close to me. Uh, what is it? Madison. Uh, so it's three or four miles, uh, three or four hours away. Uh, so I knew I wasn't going to be able to get one of these. And then two, uh, the Midwest just sucks. It's horrible about getting, uh, new, uh, stuff, man. I tell you the West coast and the East coast, Everywhere else seems like uh, people get this stuff, but uh, Appleton does all right, I think, Green Bay, but that's, you know, four hours away there. So, you know, I just, and I had to have one. I, um, yeah, this is awesome. So now that we know what this is, let me uh, just uh, grab my other ones and we'll talk about it. All right, let me just grab that. All right, hold on. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm going to tag, I just did, um, ironically enough, I just did the spotlight for the Matchbox Land Rover 90, spell it out, Land Rover 90. So we're going to tag that series, uh, four part series, I believe. And, uh, so you take a look at that and you can see my whole collection of, uh, those, um, right now let's take a look. This is what it's a throwback to. This is the first original one. Uh, let's see, I pulled this off. 1991 is when this first came about. This is a plastic top, metal base, metal, uh, metal body with the large park ranger with the, um, I guess it's, it, you would think that might be a tree there, but it goes the other way, but uh, yeah. So this is the first of the first. It's kind of a, like a metallic uh, base gray to it. I don't know if you can really see that, pick that up a little, a little bit, but uh, Thailand on the base. So that's the first one there. The second one that came out, and this is uh, 1992, uh, same white top, sli slightly smaller. No, it's just smaller, not slightly smaller um lettering and ba bam yeah thailand base with a yellow base not gray yellow base so there's another variation uh of that one then the other one that i have and uh boy i it's a pretty beat up condition uh placeholder that i have but bam this has got the Thailand gray base, not quite the same color gray as the first one. This is just a regular uh, enamel gray. This one's like got flakes in it. But anyway, this is a gray base with Thailand with the small park ranger. 
And as you see, this one is uh, pretty beat up. This one came out 93, 1993. And like I say, you wanna see the whole thing, uh, check out my playlist, so that's what we got there. I'm gonna quickly uh, just jump up here and show you kinda all the rest of them that I have uh, for um, the uh, park rangers. This, the ones that I have out here are from my display from uh, that, but, uh, and right here is the yellow based ones. Now I do have some carded ones as well, but uh, there you go, that, that's the small uh, park ranger with the yellow base. So very kind of cool there. But uh, let's get back down here to uh, this one here. And, um, oh boy, against all odds, <laughs> I'm gonna open this one. Yes, can you believe it? I don't like opening stuff, especially when I only have one of them. But I'm gonna open this one so we can really take a good look at it. I think I'll be able to uh, find more of these, I'm hoping. Um, you know, the pandemic that we have uh, worldwide is not helping out any uh, the distributing of Matchbox, especially, let alone uh, Hot Wheels. But um, I will get more of these. And uh, I just wanted to show you that people are picking these up. These are not, you know, really all that. Uh, this is not an exclusive look or anything by any means. But uh, here it is. This is it. I got to get my lighting back over here so you can see. So this is the newest generation with no plastic top on it. And we're going to just take a peek. That was an extra piece on there, plastic top. Uh, it does not have, the old one doesn't have a post through the middle because it was tabs on the back with a rivet. So the new one has two posts to it. So that they changed the casting, but it's the same casting. Uh, this would be the fourth rendition, I believe, of, of uh, this particular casting. And a uh, lot crisper on the, and of course a little addition there. Uh, the Park Ranger, I mean, even the yellow is a little bit different, but I suppose, you know, but the, uh, the Deco has uh, improved quite a bit, has improved quite a bit. I'm trying to get the lighting there so you can really kind of see that, how how good. Now the new one has now a new um, Land Rover uh, Signia on it. So here we go, now we can see that. Sorry about that, get that in focus. They even changed the um, vents on the hood there. I mean, it's the same casting, but it's not the same casting. Obviously, the fenders are a little bit different. The hood's a little bit different. So there we go. Um, and, uh, you know, like I say, the um, the markings, the decals are done a lot nicer. They're a lot crisper. Of course, the wheels, these are the old traditional wheels, which, yeah, they're wagon wheels. I really like these here. But uh, as you see on the back there, yeah, but boom, look at that uh, pillar post in the back. I don't know why that's got to be so honking big, but it is big. Uh, plenty of paint on these things. Boy, I hope that casting isn't that crude. I haven't stripped down one of these new ones uh, to do in my uh, uh, the bare metal, you know, the Zamax. Uh, but yeah, just really, really kind of cool. So there it is, the newest, latest Target exclusive. Yeah, of course, I'm going to be picking these up uh, as many as I can. Like I say, it's hard to get out. Uh, I don't have a Target really close to me, so uh, it's going to be one of those hit and miss things. I'm going to have to plan for it. I got a vacation coming up. I should go there and uh, hit up all the Targets, but everybody's going to be buying them up. That's the thing. This is a set. It's a Target exclusive. People want the whole set. And so it's going to be hard to find just the Defender 90 all by itself. So another sought off a Land Rover from people that aren't even Land Rover fans. What's a Land Rover anyway? <laughs> right? Go buy your own Lamborghinis or something. Stay away from our Land Rover so we can hoard these, right? <laughs> 
All right, that's it. Come on over to Facebook. Show me yours in the package. Uh, loose, good outside pictures. Oh, I love it. Uh, share what you got. When did you get yours? Yes. On Facebook at Roverland. Instagram at Roverland Channel. Uh, yeah. Awesome. All right, that's going to be it for today. Thank you for joining me. And remember... Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.